Hello guys, we have a ton of things to talk about in this video. First, let's talk about the static fire of Booster 7. Cameron County Judge has ordered the closure of the beach and the road leading to it on February 8th with two more days as alternative dates for Starship testing. A new MSIB has been issued for Starship testing starting from tomorrow. We don't exactly know which Starship is going to be tested. Is it the booster or Starship S25? TARP under S25 has been removed. So, tomorrow's road closure could be for Starship S25 testing. We will find it out. But the second one seems more likely. At the same time, the orbital launch mount never stops getting upgrades. Crews are working on adding a few upgrades to it. With everything going on at and around the launch mount, I don't think we will see a static fire soon. But we can see they are working hard for it. Next, let's talk about what's been a hot topic among the SpaceX community, the water deluge system for Starbase. A few days ago, a barge delivered cargo which included huge pipes and tanks for the Starbase water deluge system. Four of the white tanks have been lifted in place on top of the concrete base meters away from the orbital launch mount. In this shot from Lab Padres Rover 1 cam, we can see a huge inlet pipe under the tanks. There are different theories on what actually are these tanks for. They are not big enough to hold enough water for the deluge system. Some say these tanks will act as a mega water hammer arrester which also makes good sense with the size of the pipes taken into account. A huge tank for storing water might be coming down to Starbase in the coming days. With everything happening around the orbital launch mount, I suspect the orbital launch attempt may even get delayed. Now, I am more convinced that SpaceX will not launch the Starship until the installation of the water deluge system is complete. SpaceX is not taking any unnecessary risks these days. They simply want to carry forward the Starship program carefully with no mistakes. If any critical part of Stage 0 gets blown up, the whole program will be delayed for months. Elon and his extremely talented engineers know this risk. That's why they are taking time leading up to the static fire of Booster 7 and ultimately the orbital test flight. Elon Musk is now saying Starship flight hopefully could happen this year. A few days ago, he said an orbital launch attempt in March but now he wisely replaced the word. With this tweet and all the work going on at the launch site, I'm not sure if we are going to see the orbital flight soon enough. SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk with a vision and an ambition to make humans a multi-planet species. For now, Starship looks to be the only option to achieve this goal. Nobody else is making a rocket that is capable of doing this. Even though NASA also aims to send first humans to Mars in the near future, they don't have a rocket for it. It has to be SpaceX's Starship. And we all have to be patient to see SpaceX making impossible things becomes a reality. But it will take time. This evening, SpaceX successfully launched its ninth mission of the year. A Falcon 9 carrying Hispasat Amazonas Nexus satellite was launched from SLC-40 at Cape at 8.32 p.m. Eastern Time. This was the sixth flight of this first stage booster before landing on the drone ship. Just read the instructions. On this day, five years ago, Falcon Heavy made its debut flight on February 6, 2018, from Pad 39A in Florida. This was also the first ever twin booster landing of a Falcon Heavy rocket. The test flight mission which launched Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster on the Falcon Heavy rocket was a historic moment in the space industry that generated massive global interest in space and rockets. Many people were excited about the successful launch of the Falcon Heavy, which was the most powerful operational rocket in the world at the time, and the spectacle of seeing a car sent into space. Some also saw it as a demonstration of the advancements being made in private space exploration and technology. Overall, the reaction was generally positive and it was considered a major milestone for SpaceX and the commercial space industry. The car made by humans on Earth is cruising in space at a speed of about 6,312 miles per hour with a distance of more than 200 million miles from the Earth. That is it for this video guys, thank you for watching till the end.